Hey, what up, YouTube? It's me, your boy, Dr. Josh MD, coming straight out of Lebanon, in New Hampshire, represent. Uh, just want to say thank you so much to all the followers out there. Couldn't have gotten this channel off the ground without you guys. Um, you know, thank you so much for all your subscriptions and, and likes and follows. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching right now, go ahead and smash that like button. Give me a subscribe down there um, so you get early access to all my fresh new content. Uh, okay, so today we're going to be making a video on making a delicious pour-over coffee. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your water going. So I'm going to take my uh, electric kettle here. If, again, if you're trying to make the absolute highest quality coffee, you are going to want to use filtered water. But I do not have any filtered water uh, ready to go. So I'm going to be straight out of the tap here. Pull this guy up. I am going to be filling it to the max line the best I can with one hand. Uh, I want to use about 790 grams of water, uh, which is how much this holds up to the max line. Get this thing going here. So this fancy uh, electric gooseneck kettle will preheat the will heat the water to uh, 205 degrees Fahrenheit, just a little bit below boiling. So that guy is going. Next thing you're going to want to do is uh, is grind the beans. Today we're working with a carrier varietal. Uh, this is uh, roasted a few days ago, nice and fresh on the brighter side of their scale. Carrier is a great local roaster, check them out. This is from their subscription service. This is their Altiplano uh, variety. Uh, get your uh, hand grinder here. I have not yet invested in an electric bean grinder. This is my hand grinder. Uh, for the sake of you guys watching, it takes about two or three minutes to hand grind uh, the beans. Uh, so I have pre-ground some here about two minutes before I started recording this video. But for the sake of the process, what you would do is you'd come up here and get your electric scale. Uh, turn that guy on to the grams, tear it, put your grinder on there, measure out 49 grams of your uh, Altiplano beans, and hand grind it up. You guys didn't want to watch me grinding beans for about two and a half minutes. We got the water coming, it's still warming up. Let's get our uh, pour over device set for when the water is ready. You come down here and get your Chemex. All right. Normally, I don't keep it in this box, but um, having just moved recently, it was boxed up. Chemex ready to go. Get your filter. Square paper filter, you're going to want to fold it approximately like so. You put the three sheet side in the front, just in case you get any rippage, because you're going to be pouring out the spout on this side. All right, got the filter ready to go. This is when, timing-wise, you would be finishing grinding your beans. I guess while we're waiting for that water to finish boiling, you can also prepare whatever vessel you're going to be drinking the beverage out of. Turn out the flower mug. For efficiency's sake, you can also be preparing whatever additives you'll be adding to the beverage. For me, that's one sugar in the raw sugar packet. and some 1% milk. The cup of coffee that I make for Mary every morning. Oat milk. Okay, water's almost all the way there. Get a spoon for mixing at the ends. Again, grinding the beans typically takes a couple of minutes, so that's what we would be filling this void here. I guess I didn't think about that ahead of time. I could have ground on camera for you guys. Ah, the other thing you need to have prepared is the scale again. So typically, making the pour over, you're going to want to put the vessel on the scale uh, and tear it when you. You want the bloom to be about 70 grams, which 
which we'll get to in a hot second here. The water is at 185 degrees and the heating process typically accelerates so this last bit shouldn't take too much longer. Again, the uh, amount of the coffee we're using was 49 grams. That's a 1 to 16 or 17 relationship to the volume of water that we're using. Temperature wise, you want to be around that 200 to 205 degrees. Now that we've hit 200 and you guys are tired of waiting, we can begin. So at first you wet the filter here, trying to use a, as little of the water as possible. Let that run down through. This is just to seal the filter to the device. You can see the water dripping through here down to the bottom of the vessel. All right, pour that water out. Hopefully my filter doesn't fall out. Pour out the water so that it doesn't dilute the delicious coffee we're about to make. All right, Chemex down on the scale, tear this guy. Put in the beans. Now we've got our delicious bed here. Doing this through the camera is a little tricky. Again, you're putting in about 70 grams, I have found is about the magic number for the bloom. And you give it about 30 seconds. Should start getting some more bubbles soon. I see a few little ones. And they'll bubble more when we begin the rest of the pour as well. For timekeeping, using my automatic Orient Ray 2 watch, click the link in the top right corner to get more information on that guy. Right, it's about enough time for the bloom. We're going to go ahead, begin the rest of the pour. Essentially, you're going to be making very small circles in the middle of your bed. Trying to pour the water kind of as slowly as possible. Again, the gooseneck of the gooseneck kettle helps. You want to be trying to walk the line of using all of the grounds that you prepared, but avoiding the edges of the bed. The more that you pour around the edge, it leads to water just running down the edge, running down the filter itself and not extracting from the coffee. So you want everything to be wet. You're going to focus most of your pouring in the center with these tiny little circles in the center. We're about halfway through. Go ahead and drop a comment on your own pour over technique, what I'm doing wrong, what I could be doing better. If you have any Dr. Buells in the chat, I know you're also a coffee aficionado, I would love to hear your impression of my technique. Typically I do have two hands available. All right, so our bed is starting to flood. So I'm gonna take just a little break here. This does happen around two thirds of this volume of pour. All right, that's starting to settle. Go back to it. Beautiful coffee We're being produced right down here. 
Again, this is a large volume pour over. This is the size I would make for both myself and uh, Mary, my girlfriend, in the morning. Technically, it's six cups of coffee, but uh, really, it's two cups of coffee, if you know what I mean. All right, again, the bed is getting pretty flooded here. Probably overfilled it because I wasn't paying attention. So let's let it get down a little bit before continuing. The rest 700 grams. Again, this is going to end up being about uh, 850 grams with the water and the coffee. So we're nearly there. Have it. The rest of this will filter down, and you have a delicious carrier Altiplano Chemex pour over. What you're hearing in the background, I think, is my puppy, Benny, destroying something. could drain for another 30 seconds or so. Coffee. Sugar packet, put it in there. Pour milk, put it in there. Stir. Enjoy guys, thanks for watching. We're about 14 minutes in, so give yourself 15 minutes to make good pour over coffee. And again, smash that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys for the next video.